guys um today i'm gonna give you a quick update on everything and i got some stuff um i got some quails another type of quails um so i'm gonna show you guys them i'm gonna give you a little update on everything and um here we go first of all i just got some oyster shell um i don't get oyster shell that much I mostly get grit, but somebody commented and said Ultra Shell was good, good, good for quails. So, I got some of these for the quails and for the birds too, for my pigeons and for the doves. So, let's see. You know, this is a great um, source of calcium and, you know, it has a lot of stuff. Builds strong eggshells and all that good stuff. Um, my grandma decided that we're going to be raising quail for meat. And also for eggs. So, um, so this is really good for the eggs and stuff. So I decided to get some oyster shell. You guys may be wondering, what do I feed my birds? Um, I, I just feed wild bird feed. Um, economy mix. The economy mix is like this. Um, the white stuff here, like the white stuff is the oyster shell. I um, mix them up and do a great source of calcium and protein and everything for the qu for the um, pigeons and for the doves. Um, so I got some. This is their feed. Um, it has like peas in there and all that good stuff. Let's see if I can show you some. Let's see, this is the feed that I feed them. It has great, great source of protein and great stuff here. The wild feed. So I feed them this. Um, if you feed another type of um, bird seed, please comment down below, and I will sure check the the feed out. And but for now, I feed this kind of feed. I just put it in the oyster shell, and let's see how it does to my pigeons and to my doves. So um, you know, let's try new things out and stuff here. Now you guys know that I feed my my doves, my doves, my um, cochinex quails. Um, this really good, really awesome um, feed here for poultry and all those stuff right here. Um, great, 18% of protein, so that's really perfect for the quails, and it gives them really high stuff. And then plus this, I feed them too. Like I do the same thing. I mix the oyster shell to the feed, and it's just easier for me to give it to them. Now this is their feed here. Um, you can see there's some feed on top of the oyster shell there but um and the bottom if we dig we have some oyster shell too um so that's really really good for the for the quails and it gives you know good type of eggs and for us to eat and have a good good meal on the quail eggs there now guys this is the part that i really want to show you guys and like i said i got new quails these quails are texas a and m and cartonix cartonix quail so they're mixed they're texas ta texas a m and cartonix quails mix so i got pure females because i just want females um, i got enough of males so i got some females i got six females um it was a good good price um so i'm gonna show you guys them i clip their wings um to make sure they don't fly away and stuff so um not fly away because, you know, quails don't fly like birds. But, you know, they fly like chickens. They fly up and stuff. But they don't go nowhere. They just fly like, I don't know, a couple couple inches up. But um, not really much like birds do. But um, I'm really excited to show you guys the quails. And no, guys, I'm not. This, these animals, I just wanted to get them um, about, I don't know, about a month ago. I wanted, I wanted to get um, Texas A&M because... I thought they were really good birds, but these are birds I just got them because I wanted to. But these birds are not gonna be the birds I'm gonna get for the for um the video that I posted yesterday, the one that I told you guys I need help. So these birds I just wanted to get, but these birds are not birds that I just want to really get. I don't know, guys. Muscovy ducks, I think they're going, they're really getting to me. But um, let's see what, what is my decision at the end. So I'm gonna show you the the quails. They're really really awesome, and I really really enjoy them, and um. I just have no words and let's go check them out so these white birds here are the texas a&m and quails um the other quails but um these birds are mixed with cartonics 
and Texas AM. So they are, you know, mixed breed. Um, and I don't really mind. I mean, that's okay. I really wanted hybrids and all this good stuff. Anyways, they're gonna get mixed anyways because my my Katrina quills are all males, so they're they're gonna get mixed anyways. But um, yeah, I got six of them. They're all females. I didn't want no males. I got enough of those, so I got six females, and I have one more female here. The Katrina's have like seven females. I sold a lot of birds recently. I used to have like like. 30 birds before 30 quails but i sold a lot of them and then family come over and they wanted to try some um for for meat and stuff so i gave them some to them but now i'm getting my stock up again and it's gonna get winter time so i need to you know i don't know if they're gonna breed in winter so i'm gonna check that out but uh, um i got you know i'm really excited with, with what i got and I, I gave them some oyster shell too. That little white stuff in the bottom is oyster shell. And, um, you know, I'm really excited. And, um, like I said, I don't have no words. I don't know what to say. But, yeah. So I just wanted to show you the, the new quail that I got. And I clipped their wings really quick when I got them. And there were five each. So that's 30 in total. Um, six, six for thirty. That's five each. Um, the reason being is because they were four dollars each, but they they came to deliver it to me, so that's a dollar more for each of them. That's why they went to five dollars each. But um, I'm not sure how people sell them for five dollars. Other people sell them for four dollars. Other people sell them for three, three dollars and fifty cents. So it just depends what 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 you're selling them for. But um, my quills, I sell them for three dollars and fifty cents. So any guys, any any of you guys want to be interested in getting some quails or something just comment down below or something but right now i'm not selling none um i, I want to get more quails and let's see if these if these girls get broody um i know that quails don't get broody but you know i can let's see if they do it here in this colony um most of the people say that the quails don't get broody but you know who knows you know in the wild they are broody so who knows um so i'm pretty pretty i'm pretty pretty sure that girl over there in that green box the one that's in the bottom of the green box. I'm not sure if you guys can see her, but she's right there. She has some see she has some eggs under her. And she's broody. So all those people that say that quills don't get broody, guys, they do get broody. Um so I just wanted to tell you that I got some new quails guys and I hope you guys like this video. Comment, subscribe, and God bless.